Ah, there you are. All right. I have for you guys today what I consider to be a very special video. Why you ask? Well, because I am gonna suffer. I may never come back from this. So Ark Knights reached out to me recently. They were like, Sam, we really enjoy your videos and we would like to sponsor you. Ark Knights wanted me to draw one of the characters and I was like, okay, bet, this sounds great. And they were like, by the way, you can't use undo. But then I was like, it's all right, how bad can it possibly be? Uh, but wait till you see this character. This, this might be one of the most detailed characters I have ever been asked to draw. I might not make it today, guys, and if I don't, it was nice knowing you. So just before we dive into this drawing and give you guys some more backstory for this character, I want to quickly thank Ark Knights for sponsoring this video and for feeding my village of burbs. Ark Knights is a really well-known strategic RPG. The title's most captivating feature lies in its immersive storyline set within the fictional universe of Terra. Players assume the role of the Doctor in a world where the Oreopathy disease poses the utmost menace. The Doctor's command operators, one of whom is the character that we're drawing today, to combat antagonists while trying to find a remedy for this ailment. So there's a gorgeous anime style in this game with a perfect combination of RPG and strategic elements, plus a variety of characters. You can collect a wide range of operators with different types of specialties, including Vanguard, Defender, Caster, and many more. And this video is part of a celebration for Ark Knight's fourth anniversary with new plots, new operators, and new rewards. So thank you Ark Knights for sponsoring this video. With that being said, let's dive in. So the Ark Knight's character that we're going to be drawing in this video is Aya Fiala the Vite. Asuka. I hope I didn't butcher that name. <laughs> Despite her very cute appearance, she actually happens to be one of the most powerful healers in this game. Now the world, the universe that she inhabits has basically been ravaged by this oreopathy disease and she's one of the operators that goes out there into the world to try to find a cure. There's a lot of backstory elements that we're going to dive into and we're going to talk about as we start drawing this character and as I start suffering. But if you guys are interested in trying out this character for yourself and diving into this world, check out the link down below. So whenever I approach drawing a character, the first thing I look for are some key design elements and there's a lot of it here. She has a pretty muted color palette. Uh, one thing that I find really interesting is that she's wearing this jacket and it really reminds me of almost like a doctor's jacket. She's even got a name tag here which I think is kind of cool. She's got like all these pouches. She's got some vials in her pockets. This really reminds me of like a doctor or some kind of emergency responder setup. I feel like that actually really fits with the lore because she is supposed to be a very powerful healer. A lot of content for us to work with here. Okay so let's Let's start off first with a sketch. Not only am I going to use no undo, I'm also going to use no eraser. I've applied tape to my command Z button. I'm not going to touch that thing. I'm not going to touch the eraser. This will be the end of me. So I'm going to start off with a. Oh. oh boy, I don't like that circle. Oh, <laughs> I went to the eraser. I didn't. You can't use that. <sighs> Look, y'all better like this video. I, I feel like I'm thinking too much, okay? Not too much thinking. Let's just go right into it. Okay, so that was harder than I thought it would be. After about seven sketches not working out, I've landed on one that I think is okay. No undo, no eraser. This is the sketch that we have. It's very loose. It's very rough. You can't really see what's going on. So let me just quickly go over the uh, concept here. Now, because we are celebrating the fourth anniversary of Ark Knights, you can see I've given this character a cake and our main character Aya is going to be sitting inwards towards the center of this composition and next to her is Dolly the sheep. As you guys can see here, very cute character. Dolly is supposed to be a boss in the game. So if you get the game, you can actually go and fight this sheep. Dolly is considered to be the sovereign of sheep, also known as a beast aristocrat. <laughs> I feel like there's so many layers to the story. It's like an onion. You just keep peeling it back and suddenly you find Dolly the beast aristocrat who happens to be a sovereign of sheep and is also a boss. <laughs> so I'm going to go in here with a base color for the hair. Now her hair is going to be a brownish color. I don't think I'm going to add in the background. I'm running away from my background responsibilities here. It's difficult enough. All right, stop it. Stop it. And Dolly's going to be absolutely mesmerized by this cake. Okay, we're going to add some shadow colors. I'm going to have a really nice and simple top down lighting here. She's got a very pale complexion. All right, no undo, no eraser. Am I going to be able to pull this off? She's got these little white horns up top. I wonder why she has those. So the world that Aya is from, the world of Terra, is basically infested with this disease called the Oreopathy. This character is actually infected with the disease. So I went down a bit of a rabbit hole. I dove into like the lore and the background of this character, and it's 
pretty interesting. Okay, so basically her parents used to study volcanoes. Why did they study volcanoes, you ask? Well, because there were veins and strains and hints of this disease in active volcano areas. So our operator Aya here actually lost her parents at a very young age. It's a very tragic, tragic story, and it just gave her skin a rash. <laughs> Just knock that back a bit. But y'all see what happened was they were studying an active volcano site. And in order to get the results they needed, they had to get close. Oh, I just pressed. Oh, father, forgive me. I have sinned. I just pressed undo. <laughs> Even the tape couldn't stop me. All right. So that was one undo. Okay. We're going to try not to do that again. Imagine if we did this challenge, but every time I press undo, I had to start over again. <laughs> That's not that. No, no, I'm not doing that. Don't before you jump into the comments. I am not doing that. That's inhumane. What were we talking about? Oh yeah. Her parents. Okay. So they had to get real close to the volcanoes in order to get the results they needed. And unfortunately, one of the volcanoes they were studying blew up and uh, they were subsequently destroyed. Okay, finally, I fixed the eyes. <laughs> and now that's one of the really crucial elements of her backstory as well, because now she's really fully committed herself to continuing the research of her parents so that they did not do all of it in vain. She doesn't want all of it to stop with the death of her parents. All right, guys, slowly and steadily, we are making progress here. Remember to keep flipping your canvas. I'm just gonna merge this new layer down. Uh, and I'm going to use some liquify tool here. So this character, Aya, she's very pure, very wholesome, very resilient. She's really taken it upon herself to... Oh, there goes the eraser. <laughs> Can't use that. So yeah, just overall really wholesome character. And a part of the reason why she can actually see and interact with Dolly is because of her pure heart and resilient nature. So she is through and through a great hero character. Now imagine we turn her into a villain though. Hmm, that might be interesting. If you're ever drawing eyes for your characters, you gotta make sure not only that you're paying attention to the position of the iris, but also you have to pay attention to how much of the white of the eyeball is actually showing. One of the main reasons that we as humans have these big whites in our eyeballs is for communication so that we can better read each other's expressions. We can see where the other person is looking. So I blended out the lips a bit and now you can see I'm just here playing around with the saturation lightness a little bit. That's before, that's after. I do like my drawings a little bit more saturated. So she's got these uh, little ears that kind of remind me of a sheep. I don't know, maybe she is a sheep. And the fact that she is actually infected with this disease and she is out there still trying to look for a cure, you know, trying to continue her parents' mission, I feel like that says a lot about her character. Because honestly, if I were making this story and she lost her parents to volcanoes, Jeez, I would probably just turn her into a villain who wants to eradicate all volcanoes. But she is a strong character, so she didn't turn out like that. Now, what the heck is going on here? She's got these little vines and flowers growing and turns from blue to purple to red. Even her hair, you see all these strands? Like it goes from pink to like red to brown to purple. Oh, Arknights, why have you done this to me? I just don't want me to be happy. It's like, I will, I will feed your village, but you'll lose your sanity while we do it. Okay, I feel like I'm getting a little bit caught up on the details. Got a big picture, okay, think big picture. No perfectionism here. No, 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 no. And if you're like me and you happen to get caught up on details and you start worrying about insignificant things, you got to remind yourself every once in a while. Okay. Big picture. Stop it. Let's work a little bit more on her costume here. So a lot of times when I'm drawing, you guys are going to see that I keep this little navigator tab open. Well, for me personally, having the navigator is almost like taking a step back from the painting. And I think taking a step back every once in a while is really, really important. <coughs> Her costume is wild. My goodness, the attention to detail here is insane. So in the world of this game, I believe Aya happens to actually be one of the younger researchers. Oh, there's the eraser, but I can't use the eraser. <laughs> you know what, guys? This is actually pretty good. I feel like I always underestimate myself. Sometimes you really just got to step outside your comfort zone to realize what you're capable of. We started off with like such a rough sketch. I had, I didn't have that much faith in my sketch, to be honest with you, but... Look at how it's turning out. Now with the face shape and the big eyes for this character, I've really tried to just be as close as possible to the original anime style. Obviously it's kind of got my own spin on it. It's not pure anime. Let's get some highlights on her eyes. Let's really bring out the texture here. And boom. Oh my goodness, look at those eyes. So three dimensional, so rendered. That looks fantastic. Okay, we're just gonna bring out her eyebrows a bit because they have gone a bit lost in the hair. Now I know it looks fast in this video, but it's been about one hour for me rendering this character. And a big contributing factor to that is the fact that I can't undo and I can't erase. So, you know, when I do make a mistake, I gotta pick out new colors and kind of cover it up as though I were doing a traditional painting. For those of you who have not tried traditional painting before, I recommend you guys try it because it uh, definitely builds character. Let's add more detail 
details to Dolly the sheep. So I'm going to make a bold claim here and say we're going to finish this painting in the next 20 minutes. Okay, I'm going to set a timer for it. I'm just full of challenges today. I just don't want to be comfortable. No rush, no rush, no rush. Just go back to the reference here. Take a look at Dolly. What's Dolly supposed to look like? So Dolly's got these two cute little ears here and very bright yellow eyes. What's going on here? <laughs> Why is Dolly so drippy? Having looked at the reference and studied the reference, it's going to help me out a lot in rendering my version of this character. See, originally I put the ears up there, but that's not where they're supposed to be. Got to move it down a bit like that oh you know what dolly and aya have the same kind of ear shape mm, interesting maybe aya is a sheep that's my fan theory i'm gonna give dolly some little horns right here i'm gonna add some drip and a little crown right here i'm not gonna lie guys i really actually am enjoying this process and working with this character because there's just so much detail here. It's nearly impossible for me to capture all the details during one of these shoots. I'm going to need a lot more time for that. But the funny thing is because I'm unable to do that, it's kind of a freeing feeling. I really don't feel the need right now to make everything perfect, especially with both No Undo and No Eraser. And recently I've been feeling like the perfectionist mindset has really started to crawl back into a lot of my work. And I haven't been happy about that, but just doing this feels so liberating to me. Sheep friends on the cake. Okay. They look kind of demented, but don't mind me. All right. So we've got about 10 minutes left. We don't have much time left. Let's give Dolly an outline here just so we can see the silhouette of this character. Now just for some final touches, okay, we're going to add some more shadows here to the skin and uh, we're going to try to flesh out as much detail as we can to the costume. You know, now that we've drawn this character, I feel a little bit attached to her and I hope that she finds a cure for this ailment because she seems so wholesome. She seems like such a kind individual and I think she deserves a good life. I think it's also really interesting if you guys want to take a look at the style of the reference image and how it's kind of influenced the style of the drawing that I've made. So if you guys ever see the work of another artist that you really, really love and you just want to capture some of the essence of their work, see if you can make a little study of it. Try to break it down, you know, try to learn from the people who are basically where you want to be. And I feel like I'm in the zone right now. I'm just moving through this so fast. No undo, no eraser, no problem, no mistakes. I feel like John Wick. And time's up, guys. There is our final drawing for Aya Fiala. Y'all thought you were going to get me with this one. No, you didn't. This was done with no undo no eraser, all in under an hour and 20 minutes. I feel like the more I do these challenges, the more comfortable I feel getting outside of my comfort zone. It was actually a really freeing experience where I just felt like I had to live with the marks that I made on the page. But with that being said though, I do want to see what I can do with a little bit more time with undo, with the eraser. So I'll go back in for maybe like 30 minutes and just refine this painting a little bit and show you guys that final result through the magic of editing. Now, <laughs> pretty good, right? I wouldn't know if it's good or not because I haven't seen it yet. Anyways, so once again, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Ark Knights. Be sure to check out the link down below if you guys want to find out more about the world of Ark Knights and our character, Aya Fiala. Hope you enjoy this process. Hopefully you learned something through this process. And if you want to try this challenge out for yourself, I say go for it. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Check out my Patreon for monthly tutorials. And with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next video. What the, what the flip? I did not expect I thought this would go so much worse. I'm having an existential crisis right now. Maybe I don't need undo. Maybe I should just stop using it altogether. What's the point? What's the point of it all?